What's going on YouTube? This is Ross's Reef bringing you an update of the Nugo Fusion 20 gallon reef tank. This uh, tank has been set up now for about three months. Um, almost four months actually, sorry. Um, and it's going good. Um, I have not had too, too many issues. Um, all my parameters are always spot on. Uh, my nitrate and all that stuff is basically zero due to the abundance of water changes that I do do. I do do at least a 2.5 gallon water change uh, every week, um, which is probably a bit much for this tank. That's like one-fifth almost uh, every week, so two-fifths every two weeks. Um, there's about 15 gallons of actual water in this tank. From what I remember when I filled it up, that's including the uh, sump on the back, the hang on the back refugium. Um, but let me go into some of the fish that I have in here right now. Right now I have a green, I mean, sorry, a royal grama, as you can see, he's right there. We also have a little watchman goby, a uh, yellow watchman goby who is paired up with a pistol shrimp under there. Um, we have a six line wrasse right here. We have a Fromia mellipora starfish. I did also get a pygmy angel, which you can see right there. Um, also a ruby red uh, dragonette. Let's see if you can see him. You can kind of see him right there behind the Duncan. Um, he was, uh, I picked him up because I wanted a green mandarin, but um, this guy, I've always had an interest in those, but they've always been pretty expensive from what I remember. So my pet store had them for like 20 bucks, and I was like, I can't pass that up. So I picked one of uh, them up. Um, let's see, I have the firefish still in here, who's probably hiding in his little cave in there. Yeah, I see him. I don't know if y'all can. Um, but everything's going good. Um, I do plan on getting one more fish, a clownfish. I did lose my clownfish before. Uh, one of them just would not eat, and the other one... Something happened to his tail or something. I don't know what happened. It was a freak thing, but he died. Um, the anemone is over here, hostless. Man, it needs to be host again. Luckily, I hope the next clownfish I get will host it as fast as his other ones did. Uh, they were hosting within like a couple days of putting in, and they're tank bred clownfish. So I'm really hoping they uh, host just as fast. Uh, this anemone is just growing massive, guys. I'm simply amazed at how well it's doing under these LED lights, you know, um, it's not even getting too, too much light over here, I mean, it's getting an adequate amount, but nothing like some of the other coral, like right under here, like this bird's nest and the acro, um, it's doing good though, it likes it right here, you know, it's been there for months now, I'd say, um, and hasn't moved, it's sat there, it gets some food every now and then, I feed it, uh, some silver side, and it seems to be doing good. I think when the clowns were hosting it, they brought it some mysis shrimp too. But other than that, I mean, it seems to be getting good water movement and everything else. So it's happy there. Uh, you know, I got little canyon trees, some green star polyps. Uh, my Duncan, guys, if you watch any of my old videos, man, I complained about this thing not opening up forever. And it's finally back to how it was when I bought it, you know. Finally, nothing's been bugging it. It's been just chilling and... It's finally happy and it's opened up. Uh, the only thing, one of my uh, little zoanthids right here, I did lose one for some reason. I think because I had a pH issue in my tank. If you remember, I've been saying that's my only issue that I have in this tank is my pH is constantly dropping. If anybody has any ideas on how I can fix that, please let me know. Uh, I did go and buy some soda lime uh, and I have it hooked up to my protein skimmer back here, which I read is supposed to help. You know, it sucks in air and goes through that little bottle right down there. Um, that's supposed to help with the pH, and I think it's maybe helped a tiny bit, but it's still, my pH is just dropping. It's always hanging around like 8.0. If anybody can give me any ideas besides dosing liquid, obviously, um, I've been doing that. It's just getting a little bit old. If anybody has any ideas on what I can do to keep that up, let me know. Um, other than that, coral are doing really good, you know, uh, pulsing zinnias right down here, doing good, this, uh, Hollywood stunner chalice is growing good, uh, flower pot coral is doing really good, always extended a lot, uh, and they're starting to encrust on the skeleton, so hopefully, uh, those will just start growing, I eventually want that whole rock to just be a huge, uh, flower pot, um, all my other corals in here are doing good, uh, zoanthids, you know, I got 
four uh, Rasta Zoas, and another one's about to come out. Happy about that. That's one of my favorite Zoanthids in here when the blue lights come on. Um, everything in here looks really good with the blue LEDs on at night. I love it. Uh, all the Zoanthids just really, really pop. Um, yeah, guys, not much, though, has changed. I mean, as you can see, I still don't have any algae problems or nothing like that. Um, I do mainly contribute that success to this Vortec MP10 pump, you know, that really circulates water around here. Um, guys, if you're looking to set up one of these tanks, you know, these spin screen pumps, uh, I mean, spin screens right there are pretty good little things to have. Um, they do provide random water movement, but I don't really know if it hits every single spot in this tank. I mean, look at this. I've got no algae under this, like, cavern right here. So water is obviously flowing through this whole tank everywhere and hitting every single spot. There's not a single dead spot in this tank. So that's key, guys. If you're having an algae buildup in one little area of your tank, you know, it's probably due to it's not getting water movement. Um, I remember on my refugium, this thing used to be covered in the red cyanoalgae because I did have a... Um, I put some carbon media right there, and then I had the... Um, sterilizer UV sterilizer in there and it basically inhibited the water flow and now that it's flowing a lot better I've noticed that I don't have as much of that red cyano I believe algae growing um, and it's doing a lot better uh, protein skimmer is doing really good sucking out some nasty stuff I keep mine up pretty high just because uh, I like a nice drier skim um, I don't like a wet wet skim I mean this is as this is dry guys for me I don't have that much extra organic material in this tank um, I only feed what I need to feed to keep the fish healthy. I do also feed coral food in here. Um, I'm currently using the Reef Energy Red Sea brand, uh, part A and part B, as well as uh, just every now and then I have some marine snow that I'll spot feed like some of my zoanthids with or some of the other coral. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the tank. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, this is about the four-month update of the tank. Um, I'm hoping to get some new coral soon. Um, Every time, there's a guy that lives about three hours away from me, but he sells a bunch of coral out of his house, and he sells them cheaper, you know, frags and everything like that, so I'm really hoping I can make a trip out to him, but I don't want to until I've not put any new fish in this tank for two weeks. I don't want to, like, I just put this uh, pygmy angel right there and that little red dragonette in today. I just got them. So I'm, I have to wait at least two weeks. I don't want to be sticking my hand in the tank and then freaking these fish out and causing them to get ick. I don't want them to have any type of stressors. So my rule of thumb is I don't go get any new corals or a lot of new corals um, at once if I just put a new fish in because I don't want any stressors. Like I said, no ick in this tank. I went through that and I've managed to have an ick-free tank. Um, this little six line wrasse I did get from Petco. Uh, that's the only fish that I have bought in here from a chain store. Uh, I've been wanting a six line wrasse and they had him and I was like, God, he looked good. I looked him over. He did actually get a tiny spot of ick come up on him when he came to my tank. But, um, he has been eating like a monster. All the mice shrimp I throw in here, he eats them right up. He goes around scavenges for cocoa pods. I did also use, um, some herbal uh, ick fighting stuff. It's herbal t herbal tan or something like that. Herbitan. I don't really remember. I'll do a separate video on that later. It seems to work, guys. Uh, you know, it does not hurt any of your corals, really, or your inverts, my shrimps, nothing like that. The only thing that did seem to suffer and was my uh, gigantic uh, turbo snails. Those are the only things that do not seem to like the medicine. Uh, one other thing, if you do dose that, you will have to turn off your protein skimmer or else it will go berserk. Like, it'll just overflow. Um, it doesn't like that stuff. So when you are dosing that medicine, you do have to keep the uh, protein skimmer off. But other than that, guys, um, everything's going good. I don't have any ick in this tank right now. All my coral are doing fine. Uh, happy that the tank is going good. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns on anything I've done or any questions, uh, please let me know. I'll comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I will be doing, like I said, constant updates of this tank and the progression, any fish reviews, uh, product reviews, anything like that that I do. So this has been Ross's Reef, signing off.